the, the life that we're talking about is just living intentionally for excellence. And what we mean by that is there's, there's basically eight areas of our lives that if we have these in balance and we have uh, these, these things fulfilled in our lives, it, it makes us a little bit better person. We, we all heard information. We all have seen information. We, we learn it from our, our friends, our peers, um, our parents taught us something. My, my mom used to tell me all the time, you can't go swimming half hour after you eat. Anybody ever hear that? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Was it true? Mm -hmm. No. It's just the wise <laughs> stuff. But we hear all these things. What about like an apple a day keeps a doctor away? Yeah. It's information, right? We hear it all the time, but it may not necessarily be true. What we're talking about here is information in these eight areas of our lives. The big one starting out with in, in here life, the big one we talk about is, is faith. We are a faith-based uh, organization. Uh, we don't preach it at you, like right off that, um, down your throat, but we just kind of put it out there because that's where we're coming from. So you know that right up front. Faith, uh, family, these are eight of finances. Everybody has um, maybe some troubles or, or they just want to get better at some of these see things in, in their life. Uh, a lot of people right now are having trouble with finances, okay? The economy's not that great. Um, you know, people have always told us, go to school, get good grades, get it safe, secure job. Um, that's the way we work, the American dream. That's how we built this country. But right now, um, may not be doing what we really want it to anymore, okay? So the other A, that's fitness, following, that's just more like freedom, um, leadership stuff, and then freedom over here is just the state of our country, where we're at now with with the different things that are happening in our country. Not necessarily Republican or Democrat or, or the two parties or, or anything like that, but just kind of back to where the Founding Fathers kind of developed the company, or the country, I should say, uh, where they're coming from. Friends uh, and fun. Fun's the easy one. I mean, we can do that easy. Everybody has an idea of what their fun is. Okay, we can have fun all the time. So when we talk about life leadership, this is kind of just give you an idea. It's an overview of um, what the company is about, what we do, to see if it's a fit for you or not. Okay, to see if we're kind of crazy or to just see if, if there's some information here that you may be able to, to apply in your life that could help you um, in one of these eight apps or any, anything you're doing right now in your current position. And where, where we sit at life, it sits right in the middle of four different industries. Personal development through like leadership, self-help. And, and not self-help like um, everything's good, you know, lovey-dovey type, but I'm, I'm in it by myself, but self-help more of like a self-directed education applying principles, information in our lives that, that can help us either be better people, either be a better husband, father, um, son, brother, uh, worker, all those things in there. So we take the good stuff out of here. It's a $400 billion industry. And then we talk about life coaching. Life coaching is a $1.5 billion industry. And um, everybody needs a life coach nowadays. You see, you see them all over the place. So if it's like the... Um, Tiger Woods out there, they got a life coach, right? Not because they need help with their swing, but because they need help putting this, the mental game together and, and, and just dealing with, with life in general. The nice thing about life, the business, is that this is provided free from our leaders, people that have actually gone through the minefield, that have experienced these things. They're, they have a, a nice, robust marriage, um, you know, because you can get some of this information out there at the bookstore, and everybody says, oh, yeah. I can just go. That's all right. Come on in. Hey, that's all right. Come on in, Lisa. How you doing? This is Miko. Hey, how are you? This is Miko. Hi, Nice to meet you. That's John. That's John. That's Kathy. That's Kathy. That's Mike. Jory. There's Bart over here in the corner. Put him in the corner over there. That's what he's there. So, so we were just talking a little bit about life and, and where, where, where the life business sits. Because um, we talk about the ADEFs, because we're all, we're all humans, so we all have ADEF problems somewhere in our lives. So the life coaching here, again, it's done by people that have fruit on the tree, that have been through the minefield, still have all their, their arms and limbs together, okay? uh, right in there. Home-based business, uh, the big thing I like to focus on right here is business. When we talk about this, um, everybody always kind of looks at me and says, oh, is it one of those things? You know, I get that all the time. And it's like, well, no, it's not one of those things. It's never really been done before because we're talking about this business that sits right in the middle of all four of these things. 
we use home-based business basically it's just the internet it levels the playing field for us so um, and when we talk about business and in and, and the life sense we're talking about systems systems type of thinking we'll get in that a little bit a little bit more so because if you think about it we have everybody's got one of these right mm -hmm. nope. nope no don't have one of those no. okay you have a phone <laughs> Yeah, just the phone, right? Yeah. So not everybody has one of these, mm -hmm. but like eight years ago, how many people had these? Very, very few. Like the, the people that are on the cutting edge. Now you look at probably about fifty percent of the people have a smartphone. All right, and that's all it is. You can do business. I'm getting a call right now. It's probably the president, but I'll just put it back in my pocket. But you can do business, you know, internationally. <laughs> Because we're talking about just leveraging the internet, leveraging systems. That's it. All right. So it's a hundred billion dollar industry. The other, the other industry that's involved in life is community building, because we're all, as humans, we like to commune. We get together in organizations, right? Like the Knights, uh, Boy Scouts. Okay, I was a scouter. Um, Girl Scouts, soccer clubs baseball clubs, you know, um, all these things as human beings, we want to be together. We want to commune, we want to have that. In fact, we've taken it to another level now. We have social networking, okay, mm -hmm. that are communities out there. Uh, how many of you guys are on Facebook? Anybody? Yeah. Half, yeah, some, yeah, yeah. some, okay. So you got Facebook, you know, and the younger kids, I mean, they don't like Facebook kind of dates us now because they're doing like Tumblr and Vine and uh, Twitter and all those stuff, you know. They're like, my daughter's 18, so she says, Dad, Facebook, so that's so lame. We do this Vine, and we do the, the uh, Instagram, okay, where it's just pictures or videos they take now. But it's social networking that um, it's different, okay? It's still together. We're still communing in a group, but it's out there in, in information land. So we get in there, and we check on people, how they're doing. Uh, you know, you got a friend from school that you haven't seen in a while, and you get on there, and you say, hey, how's everything going? Okay, how's the family? But we do that in our shorts at night, 10 o'clock, by ourselves. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's changed. In the past, we'd pick up the phone or we'd write a letter. All right, so, so the information has just kind of changed communities. But, but what we do with life is we put both those together the social network aspect of the internet and real life communities that we associate together so we can get the, the personal interaction. And that's where life sits. It sits right in the middle of those four industries. Um, it's a huge deal, okay? Because this has never been done before. It's never going to be done again. There's only one first, ever. So we call this intersectional innovation. When you when you combine a couple different industries and, and you get a new something new, like the smartphones or uh, <coughs> you know, like the uh, the internet and, and commerce. You know, it just happens. Internet banking. Right now, you can take a picture of your check and deposit it in your bank. <laughs> Crazy. Who would have thought about that five years ago? Okay, but it's happening out there. And when we talk about this, we're kind of thinking about two different concepts. Uh, since we're in the information age, life sits in, we're in the information age, we're talking about bucket carrying. Um, and when we look at that, Robert Kiyosaki in his book, The Cash Flow Quadrant, really kind of summed it up pretty nicely. He said, on this side, we kind of call it bucket carrying. We have employees and self-employed people, okay? We all have done this, right? We've all went in, punched the clock, usually go in 40 hours a week, get paid every two weeks. Um, we've seen that. We work hard, we do a good job, and we get a paycheck at the end. So we're doing, we're trading our most valuable asset, which is our time, for money. Okay? So if we want more time, what do we give up? Money. Money, right? Well, if we want to make more money, what, we, what else do we have to give up? Time. Time. It's so a one-for-one exchange on this side of the quadrant here. And Robert Kiyosaki said, most of us, 95% of us, okay, are on this side. Either employees or self-employed. And the self-employed person just got a little bit more gumption, a little more drive, and they say, you know, I can do this, start a business, and I'll have people work for me. All right, and that's all well and good until, you know, the, the guy that you have working for you doesn't show up. Then who's got who's to fill in? The boss, okay? or they break your tools, or they, you know, whatever, the, the insurance that they cost in there. So 
you know, that's called bucket carry mentality. It'd be like, um, it'd be like if there was a town that, that went dry, the well went dry, and the mayor said, there's a stream like a mile down the road. So I want people that just go ahead and grab a couple buckets, go to the stream, get some water in the buckets, come back and fill the well. And if you do it, every gallon of water you bring in and put in the well, I'll give you a buck. Okay, no big deal. You get a couple buckets and you walk back and forth from the stream to the, uh, to the well. Each time, treating your time for money. Okay, back and forth, back and forth. And that's on this side of the quadrant. Robert Kiyosaki said, you know, only 5% of the wealth is on this side. So 95% of the people are fighting over 5% of wealth. So what we do in life is we just, we're thinking of things just a little differently. It's information, all right? It's information age. So to get from this side of the quadrant over to here, where Robert Kiyosaki said, the B type of business is based on system. Systems thinking to help you leverage your time so that you're not trading time for money anymore. Okay, and it's called pipeline building. So it would be like, um, so if we still have this town here, that's my international symbol for town with the well, okay, and a river over here, and instead of walking back and forth bucket carrying, we say, you know what, while we're still bucket carrying, let's put a, a pump right here in this river, and let's just start building some pipeline. When we get halfway done, how much are we making? Nothing. Nothing, the pipeline's not, not running, okay. But once this, this connects right here to this well, and we flip the switch right there through a system type thinking business, now what happens to the people carrying buckets? Unemployed. Yeah, they're, on, they're unemployed, right? They're, they don't need any need for them anymore. But, but the difference between being on this side of the quadrant and this side, where only 5% of the people live, is just a systems thinking. It's thinking of a different way of thinking. That's it. Okay? And, and the nice thing about being on this side is 95 or five percent of people really share 95 percent of the wealth. You know, everybody always says, "I wonder how the other half live." Well, it's not really the other half. Okay, I wish it was half 50 50, but it's it's really five percent and 95 percent. Okay, fortunately that's just the way it is right there. But with through life, there's there's maybe a way to change that. So what we we're talking about in life is is just what do you want out of life? Okay. Your, your real life, all right? Most of us, when we graduate high school, what's the first thing you, that we say to the, the kids? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, right? Hey, you graduated high school, Jordan. What are you gonna do now? Did I say that? Possibly. I hope I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what we do because we've been taught that our whole lives, right? Go to school, get your grades, get a safe, secure job, all right? So what happens is then, we say, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go do something, okay? Um, you know, I'm going to go to school. Then I'm going to learn a job or a, a degree. I'm going to learn what to do in that degree. And then I'm going to go out and get a job, and that's going to define who I am and what I do for the rest of my life. Stephen Covey says in his, in his book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, is, you know, we need to start with this first. We're doing it backwards in America, all right? We need to define what we want first. And then we just gotta learn from the people that have done it and go do the work, okay? I'm sorry for cursing at you guys, but I did say a four-letter word there. This isn't, this isn't not something for nothing. This is, you gotta do some work, okay? Not looking for everybody. We are just, uh, this may be for you, and it's gonna take some work. But the nice thing is, is that the people that are, that are showing us how to do this, They've already been through the minefield. They have the fruit on the tree. So that free life coach that we talked about earlier, they're the ones we're learning from. Warren Ward and Chris Brady were system engineers, all right? So they, they have a way of thinking that they just kind of um, uh, fixes problems. That's what engineers do. So when we talk about defining what we want and learn what we do, you know, what is that to you? Is it more time? You know, Bart, when he introduced me, he said, you know, I'm... You know, I, I have I make a good living. I could say I'm all right, you know. I'm all right, you know, I got a good job, I got a beautiful wife, great kids, um, I got a roof over my head, I got two cars, two dogs, uh, I, I guess I'm the average, uh, yeah, I have a boat, okay, I'm the average American guy, and I'm doing okay. But one thing that when, when Keith Siraki showed me this, this plan, one thing that I was missing was just my time. I didn't have my time. Because I'm working 60, 80 hours a week some days. Okay? And that's just what I have to do. So for me, it was time. 
I don't know what it is for you guys. You know, do you want to be debt free? All right. Uh, you know, do you want to spend more time with your family and quality time to do what you want to do when you want to do it? All right. I don't know. Does it mean security? I don't know. Just for you, women like security. Just so you know. Okay. So if you can provide a woman security, then they're gonna like you a lot more. Okay. But you know, is it traveling? You know, where do you want to go? What does it look like? What does it mean to you? Those types of deals. And, you know, do you want to just give back to church and charity? You know, and, and we, this may seem a little bit, um, I guess, money-centered, money-driven. Um, it's, not, it, it's not meant to be that way. But it's really, you know, if we look at, look at uh, how many of you guys, how many have young kids? Some young kids, at least, okay. So when you ask your children what they want to be, what, what kind of things do they give you? I mean, are they like crazy off the wall, huge um, dreams? Drive jet planes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> drive jet planes like to the moon or something, you know? Um, I, I mean, they, the kids they have dream. all the dream in the world. They have great big visions. And what happens usually is by the time they get to be our age and we get in our jobs, we end up realizing their income is only this big, but our want circle is this big. Okay, our dreams and our goals. So what normally happens is we just kind of shrink this down so that our want circle becomes the same as our income. All right, and that's just the way we've always been done because we're we're trading our time for money. There's nothing else we can do. Or you can inflate it with you know Visa, Mastercard, American Express. The TV's telling you to do it all the time. If you deserve it. You know, take that vacation, pay for it later. Um, you know, get that brand new car that, because the one in your driver that's only two years old, eh, it's no good anymore. Okay, they want you to, to do that. That's what that's what the society's telling us that's right now. But you know, all this does is really kind of put us farther behind, put us in debt. So what we're talking about here is not not necessarily with this, but really learning through a system based how to increase our income so that our, our income matches our want circles. And not to be, you know, not for monetary purposes, but, you know, maybe again, you want to just really help people, okay, and that's what you want to do. So, you know, the um, nonprofit organizations now, if you ask them what they need most, they need time, oh, I'm sorry, money, and leaders, qualified leaders. That's what they're missing, okay? Those are the two big things, money and qualified leaders, and, and we're seeing... If you look at the nonprofit organizations and you look at the statistics now, they're disappearing by the thousands because people just don't have the money to give back to them and, and they're just not qualified leaders out there to do it. Okay, So, so that's what we do. We're, we're trying to help people live the life they've always wanted. That's it. Well, well how do we do that? Well, it's pretty simple here. Um, I'll give you the, the short and dirty. What we do is we build communities of people and we drive them to the life-changing information. All right. Life-changing information through the form of books, CDs, okay, and association. So those three things, right there. This is so that they can live the life they've always wanted. So when we talk about those those eight Fs, everybody has eight F problems. So in the in the areas of faith, violence, family, fitness, following freedom and fun, um, some somewhere somebody's hurting. Okay. How many people go and you, and you ever ask somebody, hey, how are you doing today? And you ever get that answer, oh, man, oh, you know, and, and they, they start a list of things that are going wrong with them. You know, not that they're bad people, but they're, but they're hurting because something's not right in their lives. And what we can do is we can offer them some information that, that may help them. And we can say, hey, Paul, you know what? You know, I don't know if this is going to help you, but listen to this CD. Tell me what you think. Okay. And that's it. Okay, no strings attached. Let's just help them. Give them the information. All right, the life changing information. Our content, I'll show you in a couple slides here. Our content is rated higher than most of the stuff you can go out to the stores and buy. And the people in the stores, nothing wrong with that. They're running a business. But some of the big name guys, uh, you know, Zig Ziglar, you know, God rest his soul, just passed away not too long ago. He made thousands and thousands and millions of dollars by doing leadership stuff. Okay, our stuff is more current. Um, usually within 30 days the product and material has been produced and what we do is we share it 
with our family, friends, and fans, people that may need some information. Through that, there's an exchange of, of money. Okay, all business has it. They have a content, which is their product or service. They have commerce, which is how they make money. And then what happens is usually when this money is exchanged, it goes back to the big corporations, right? That's why people get the, the private jets and the, all the big buildings, all the glass and stuff. Well, we're, with life, we do it a little bit differently. Instead of doing it here, we put it back to the community to make it compensated. So what that means is 70% of all the profits that are made through life, through customers and, and, and members, go right back in the community and we share it as a group of people together. Okay, that's how it is. Pretty simple. That's the main concept there. So what is our content? Well, our content, um, like we talked about earlier, we have a life series that's dedicated to the eight Fs. It's the soft skills, it's interpersonal, it's communication between people, it's, uh, it's the faith, okay? To give us a little more help in that area. This subscription right here is like 50 bucks a month. You get a book, four CDs a month, information you can apply to your life through that self-directed education. You have an LLR series, again, 50 bucks. Um, it's four CDs and a book. And this is more of like the um, more of like the management style, a little harder uh, management skills, I guess I would say. We have an All Grace Outreach series. Okay, 25 bucks. And you get a book and a CD. And that's our faith series. Right there. All this stuff, all this goes back to uh, it's a not it's a um, uh, goes back to oh man. Yeah. yeah. It, it goes back to our um, all Grace Outreach, and, and it's donated. All the all the profits are donated back to the All Grace Outreach, right there. So the Edge series, ten bucks a month. This is designed for the the younger teenagers to adults. I get a lot of stuff out of this. I listen to it all the time. Okay, because this is where we said, man, I wish I would have known then what I know now. And we say it all the time, right? Mm -hmm. And this is a chance to give our kids some of that information. And the new one that just came out is our Freedom Series right there. Yeah, it's awesome. So one's audio CD a month. And again, it's not about a political thing. It's about the Founding Fathers and what, what the real uh, Founding Fathers wanted for the country and how to kind of get it back and steer towards that way. Okay? And that's our content. This is recognized across the world as, as being some of the best in the industry, if not the best in the industry. In fact, Warren Woodward and Chris Brady, a couple of founders, are right in the top 10, Warren's number five in the leadership experts in the world, okay? Chris is right behind him like at number 10 or 11, all right? And so we talk about how, what the commerce of this, how does that work? Well, how do people get paid? How does the community get paid, all right? That's a fair question. How does this thing work as a business? Well, let's look at uh, shoes for a second. Shoes cost maybe two bucks, $2.50 to make. They sell them at the store for about 100 bucks, okay? A good pair of running shoes, Nikes or something like that. All right, they're manufactured, not in the U.S. anymore, and then they go through all these different levels, okay, of packaging, advertising, and all that stuff, and marks it up. So the thing is, did, did the quality of those shoes change from the time they are manufactured? No. To that? No. All right, but this is business. This is a standard, regular, multi-level business that we, we, we participate in every day. All right, what we do, I'm in those three circles, right? So what we do is we produce our, our CDs, our 10 bucks. Let me tell you that right off the bat. They cost 35 cents to make, all right? So it's delivered straight through the internet to the customer, cutting out all these middlemen right here. So the profit of $9.65 goes back to the community. That's where the profit comes from. So there's thousands of people right now that are just as customers in here. There's, there's thousands of people right now in the company as members, okay? So there's, there's basically two ways to be a part of this. And so that's what makes us different is we compensate that, the community in there with that. Well, how does that work? I mean, people are like, what do you mean by that, Nico? Well, think of this. You guys said you've, you've seen Facebook or at least know about Facebook and the social media stuff out there. Well, Facebook kind of works like this. Um, so before you got on Facebook, people were already in Facebook, right? Your friends, family, relatives, whatever. And they said, hey, come in here and 
join this Facebook thing. I'm going to give you an invitation. Come on over here and check this out. So he said, okay, click. There I am. And so you started, you just started exploring the information, right? And what happened to Facebook after you? Kept growing. It kept growing. It's still growing today. Okay. Mark Zuckerberg doesn't, you know, doesn't know nine, 90 million people, but he just gets paid like he does. Right? Nothing wrong with that. It's just business. It's the same way with, with life. It grows just like Facebook, except for if, if Facebook was compensated, if you got paid to bring people to Facebook, you think you'd put more people on Facebook? Yeah, it would grow a lot quicker, right? So, so it's, the same, it's the same way. Basically, for $89.99, and I'll explain that a little bit more, you hold your spot right there in the life community. Now, this is going to grow. It's going to continue to grow with or without you. Right now, it's, it's growing huge. Okay, it's just, it's taken off like crazy because why? People want information. They're, they're looking for something. Okay, they're looking for the information to help them with their lives. So, you hold your spot right here, and the team continues to grow this deep right here, working a team approach. We'll explain that a little bit more here in the second part, but, but, um, so that's what happens. You hold your spot right there. This community is going to continue to grow. All right, and so for just getting the information, sitting there learning, applying some of this to your life, maybe improving the eight areas in your own life, because at the end of the, the day, that's what it really is. That's what our product is, is just a better us, a better you, better me. Uh, for doing that, you can earn anywhere from five to 500 bucks a month. Okay, not bad. Um, you know, it's not gonna put you in a $500 million home, but you know, if you can make an extra car payment a month, that'd be pretty all right. You know, so again, once you learn how to do this in the apprentice league, you come over here and it's just the same thing as Facebook. You can grow another community. If you do, if you learn how to do it in that system once, then you can do it again. If you're taught how to do it, yeah, absolutely. So with this, you can earn anywhere from five to two thousand dollars a month. You get uh, really good at this again because this is a system approach. We have ditch diggers to doctors in this in this business. We're all part of a community. We're all learning and growing together. Okay. So if you learn how to do it through a system, you did it a third time, you can earn up to uh, about eight thousand dollars per month. Okay. And that's how simple it is. It's really that's all it is. During the whole process, you can earn trips just for doing your job, for learning and listening and, and learning leadership information associated with people that are like-minded, that aren't strange too much. Um, you can earn trips to like Disney uh, or probably a little better one would be like Jamaica. Okay. Yeah, so they're going to pay me just to sit here and listen and learn and, and develop leadership skills? Yeah, that's how it works. You get points for that. Okay. And as you become a leader, you can learn some bigger cruises in there. So we talked about the train, team training system. And usually people say, well, you know, here's two things. I'm not a salesperson. Okay. I, I happen to be one, so um, I take me out of there. But most people aren't salespeople. I'm not a good salesperson. Okay. Understand that. Neither was Chris Brady, Orrin Woodward, Dan Hawkins. Okay. None of the leaders in there uh, were salespeople. Alright, I don't know anybody. Well, okay. We do. Alright. You know at least one person, right? Somebody invited you here. So you know at least one person. Um, I don't think I can do this. You know, absolutely right. That's why we have a system. That's why it's a system in here. And the two that, that really um, kind of get me, and I'll explain this why why we do this at the end is I don't have time around work. Absolutely. That's the whole time for money thing, right? So if you don't have time, guess what you have? A little bit more of this. If you don't have any of this, guess what you have? More of that. Okay? So that's the whole thing. We already covered that. And and the thing is with team, we got a program for that. Anybody can do this. That's what it is. One of the big programs, especially if you don't have money, is there's a three for free program. So if you share this with three other people that just get on a subscription, same as yours, yours is paid for. Okay? That's it. This is our leadership, life leadership income disclosure statement. Come and check this out. We're going to take a quick break here, get some water and stuff in there. But, um, but come and take a look at this. we got some other handouts too for you. But look at what, what it is people that are earning, okay? Because this is a Federal Trade Commission sheet that we have to provide this to you. So come up here and take a look at this. Uh, if you're a life coach, you know, the high end is 205000 
the average is 53,000. That's a month, okay? Can you do that? Yeah, absolutely, all right? That's crazy, it's crazy income. So, so what do we do next? Well, I told you there's two ways to go. You can either be a customer and just try the information out, get it, apply it to your life, see if it's for you. Great, no problem. The other thing is you can become a life member. The life member, again, come in, see if this is for you, okay? You get 30 days of a free, a free subscription for Life Library, okay? You get to come hang out with cool people for like a month, see if you like it. You get, a, uh, a, you get two tickets to a, uh, a live seminar that we have every month. Um, Stacy will talk a little bit about that in a second here. But, but again, that's what you do. For the $89.99, okay, I always like to go back to this slide right here, for $89.99, because, because here's the thing. What do we do in the life business? $50 of that is right here. You get, you get a book, okay, and three CDs that you can listen to. So you get product in the personal development leadership self-help area to apply that. The other thing is a community. You get two tickets, half price, so a total of 40 bucks. So that's where that, that 89 bucks, $89 comes in. You, get, you actually get product for that. You get to come and watch a live presentation uh, with some great speakers. Uh, Mark and Jen Paul are going to be coming in here and Stacey will talk about that. But they do a leadership talk. Then they do uh, three talks for you for that price. So if you go to one of these things on the weekend, you'll pay thousands of dollars. Here it's only 40 bucks, right, with, the, with better information. So with that, um, I'm going to do the best thing that I can do and then bring up my beautiful wife who um, is going to share with you just some of the things that we've been able to do with, with, the, uh, with the company and what we've kind of been through. Um, and I just appreciate her so much because she's always behind me. And she's always supported me with whatever we do. Okay, so uh, my great partner, my lovely wife, Stacy. Come on in. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Um, I just quickly want to share how this information has helped <clears throat> Miko and I. And when we first were introduced to life, we felt we needed a little help in the finance department. So we grabbed the Maximize Your Finance Pack, and with that information, there's a book and some CDs. We were able to apply that to our finances and were able to eliminate $800 a month in debt. And now what I want you to make sure that you understand what I'm saying is that we did not change our income. What changed was our thinking, the way we were thinking about our finances and how to use our money. So that's kind of what we're offering for you here tonight is a new way of thinking, perhaps a better way of thinking and to improve your life in any of those ADEF categories. Now, um, if you're new in the room, we understand that this is a lot of information to take in in just a short amount of time. So the person that invited you here is going to give you some more information in the form of a book and two CDs. The book is a very easy read and it'll give you a lot more details of everything that Nico presented. The CDs, we have two of the founders, Chris Brady and Orrin Woodward, and their wives. They share a little bit of their personal stories and they also give you a little more information about the business. And because this is a business and we're business owners, we want to set a time to get back with you. So that's really important to do that in the next 24 to 48 hours so we can get back the information that we loan to you and also answer any questions that why they're familiar, you know, still in your head. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is, Miko had mentioned Mark and Jen Paul are coming to Punta Gorda this Saturday. Um, it is going to be, I'm so excited to have them. They talk about a power couple. Um, Mark is an has an engineer degree. They both have a real estate license and they both, prior to the life business, they both own their own manufacturing business. So um, Jen is passionate about um, lifestyle and fitness. She's passionate about helping people, just normal everyday people, reach inside and pull out the greatness inside of them. I've had the privilege of hearing their audios and I've also seen them live from stage and it's going to be an excellent, excellent weekend. So. Um, we're going to take a quick break, five minutes, go to, get a, get, go to the bathroom, take a drink of water, whatever it is, um, and then we'll have Miko come back up here. He told us a little bit of what it, what it is we do, and now he's going to explain how we do that. And before I do that, I just want to leave you with this question. If you guys could just ask yourself, what if? What if this is the way for you to get your finances in order if need be? Or whatever you know was in your dream circle, if you think about that, what if this is the vehicle to get you there? Uh, I strongly encourage you to listen to those audios, read the book, and get to the seminar. It's going to be a great time, 
and then get back with the person that invited you here and let them show you how to live the life that you've always wanted. So we'll take a quick break and then we'll have Miko come back up and show us a little more teaching, okay? Attention and, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and just talk about how we do this, okay? Uh, so I told you kind of an out over, overview of this and I'm gonna go in a little bit more of the detail of, of how because that's usually what everybody wants to do. Well, how does this thing work? Okay, how does it work? Well, what we do is we, we basically do this. We, we have what we call theory. And our theory is, is the books, the CDs, okay, and the association. Right there. So most of, most of us as adults, we, we don't learn like we did when we were kids. Okay, so we, we learn a little differently. We learn in small chunks. So CDs, audios, they're able to, to kind of um, talk to us a little bit from somebody else's voice. So they kind of get in our head, and it gives us the information that we can, we can learn and apply to our lives. Just by learning some audios, you know, in the little snippets, driving in the car, you know, doing stuff around the house. Uh, just little things by hearing the information, you can apply a little chunks of it in your life and apply it. As Stacy said, you know, we, we apply principles from the Maximize Your Finance Pack that we, we've heard before. You know, it's not like it's not like rocket science and just brand new inventions that just came came about. This is information that's been out there, but you know, if we're left to our own devices, because everybody tells me, you know, I can go to Books a Million, I can get I can get a book, I can get a book tell me about finances, I can get a book that tells me about um, marriage, you know, I can get a book that tells me about relationships, and I always go, that's right. How many have you? How many times have you gone there and done that? And they're like, well, you know. Uh, you know, I could do it. I'm like, I understand it, but are you doing it? Okay, that's the thing. Because um, you go in there and, and you're like, you're like a kid in a candy store. And you walk in that bookstore and you're like, okay, finances. Let me see. There's 48 books right here. Uh, which one do I buy? Usually, you get the one that looks the coolest in the cover. Okay, and you read the little snippet. And on the back, you ever notice when you read a book from the bookstore, nothing's ever bad on the back of that book. Everything's Oh, this is the best thing. This is a New York bestseller. This is this. This is that. This is that. And you get into it, and you start reading it. Um, I think the funny story I ever heard was, you know, a, a marriage book that's produced by somebody that's been divorced five times. Okay, I don't know. Um, not necessarily. Not, not there's anything wrong with it. I'm just saying, you know, do we really mind taking information from somebody that that doesn't really have the fruit on the tree? And that's the kind of thing is with with the life system. The, the books that come down, the CDs that come down, are from people, again, that have the fruit on the tree, that, that have done the things that they're talking about. That it's like, um, you know, if you're good at something, say you're good at, um, uh, let's say, uh, I don't know, needlepoint. Okay. Uh, I'm good at needlepoint, so I think everybody should be good. No, I'm not good at needlepoint. Uh, but let's say you're good at, you know, just public speaking. And so somebody says, hey, would you give a 30-minute talk on public speaking on how to be a better public speaker? You know, would you do it for free? Sure. You know, and that's what we do. So produce the CDs, and that gets that gets uh, that gets distributed through the system. Okay. So we learn from others through the CDs. When we talk about books, we talk about the top five books. Okay, a lot, and they're and they're proven, principled books that they've been around for 30, 40 years. But they're principles that, that never change. And they're all based on the moral fibers, okay? They're all Christian based. I mean, because again, that's kind of the, where all the moral fibers come from. Okay, it just is. Any other good information comes from that. But the books, what the books do, that's a little bit different than the CDs, it lets our own minds start talking to us. So as we read it, we can we can kind of talk to ourselves on what the book's saying to us. So it's a little different way of learning. And the association, it's just being around other people. You know, that are positive, that are pleasant, that are uplifting, that appreciate you. One of the things that I realized when I first came in this, this uh, association with these people is that they didn't judge me for what I looked like or who I was or what I did or anything like that. They looked at me with all my spots and all my, my wrinkles and everything else that I have and all the baggage that I have. Um, and they said, hey, how you doing? Welcome. You know, and so that's what really impressed me. And that's what we do with the associates is we just encourage other people. We help each other people live in their lives and dealing with the stuff that we deal with every day, okay? But to make it a little bit better. So that's our theory right there. Our activity is this. 
through the business. This is a people business. So you're going to deal with people. Okay. So these right here, this theory helps you to apply um, the information to your life to make you a better people person. Okay. And that's what it is. Just to help us get better, better principles, better understanding of, of these, uh, of these principles right here. The activity is the first thing we start with is a dream. Okay. Some people call it a dread. Okay. Uh, so you either have a dream or a dread. Or either you're either running to something or you're running away from something. Tim Marks uh, on a CD. He's one of the uh, the life founders. He always said he was running from a dread because he was millions of dollars in debt in a real estate venture that just was not going to cut it for him. And him and his wife Amy talk about on their CDs how they're able to get away from that by running from a dread. Okay. I have a dream. My dream is more time that I can spend with my family and my, my kids to do what I want to do. So that, that alarm clock, that annoying alarm clock every morning that wakes me up, I don't have to worry about that. I can get up when my body's ready to get up. Okay? And I have to set that in there. So so we start with that. Okay? Because you know what? Um, if we have that dream, then we're, we're able to, to, to pursue and to get this. Because is this hard? Yeah, it is a little hard. Okay, is it uncomfortable? Yeah, kind of uncomfortable. Um, but anything worth having, you usually go through some of that problems. Because the people that are successful, you know, you always hear that, oh man, they're so successful, they must have got lucky. What you don't see is the thousands of hours they put in there to get to that, to have that dream, to get through all the struggles. The football players, they go through all the trials and troubles so that they make it to the NFL, okay? So that's what we do. The second thing we do is we just commit. Right? You just make a commitment and say, you know what? I'm going to listen to the information. I'm going to read a book. Okay, I'm going to, ben I'm going to better myself. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make myself better. So then hopefully other people will see that and it will affect their lives. So you commit there. The third thing we do is we just make a list. Okay? And you're always working with the coach. So the nice thing about this, you're not by yourself. You know, a lot of people will sit there and say, Oh, it's one of those things, right? You guys ever seen this? One of those things. Usually it's uneducated you. You go out and get five people that don't know what they're doing either. And they go get five people, they get five people. And pretty soon what happens, this doesn't work, okay? Orrin and Chris Brady, they came from this background. They're system engineers. They said, that doesn't work, okay? So they developed team approach. So that's not what this is. But what we do is we have a list. We have a system. And we say the coaches that are with you, they're going to help you develop a list. We're going to help you just get people on names. Not people that want to do this or would like to do this or have the ability to do this. It's just anybody that would just take a listen. Okay? Because it's, it's for two, it's for. And we don't know who it is, who it's for, who it's not for. So we make a list. Fourth thing we do is we just contact them. Again, this is all skills that we can learn, that we teach. As a coach that works with you hand in hand, we help you do these things. And as a new person, you say, you know what? That's all you do. You don't want to do anything else. You stop right there, Tiger. Okay. You're going you're gonna to do these things right there. And we're going to show you and prove to you that this works. And we're going to help you grow the business. All right. That's it. Fifth thing we do is we just start the process or show the plan. Not, not what I did up here like in a formal setting, but there's little cheat sheets that we use. It's just, just a quick, you know, 15, 20 minutes sharing information with people. You know, give them a CD. Give them, give them two CDs of a book. Say, take a listen to this. Tell them, we'll get together in a couple days. Tell me what you think. Okay? It's as simple as that. So we start the process. Six is we just follow through. Stacy said it earlier, you know, is that this is a business. So we ask people just to take the information and listen to it. Because you know what? If you listen to the inf information and it's not for you, you're going to know. I mean, truth rings sweet to the ear. So when you listen to the information, you're going to say, ah. Oh, I get it, yes, I love it. Or you're gonna say, mm, nah, no thanks. I'm not, I'm good with it. Okay. Um, but but try it out. Give it an adult time frame. Take a listen to it. And even come to the seminar, because you're gonna see the live people, Mark and Jim Paul, that are awesome speakers. Right? That they can do a lot better job than I can. So um, I encourage you to see that. Alright. Um, and then seven is we just rotate or teach.
So as you, as you learn how to do the, the business, we walk you through this as with the coaches. We do this for you, okay? This is the only business where you, you actually get lazier, okay, to do this. Do you leverage your time by, by leveraging other people that know how to do the business? So that's what we do there. We rotate and teach that to other people, teach how to do that. And then the eight is we just open ourselves up to mentorship. Okay? I never had this before. This one, this one really threw me for a loop because usually my bosses weren't trying to mentor me because they didn't want me to take their position. You know, they were just trying to manage me so that I, I did my job good enough, but not good enough that I could take their job. Okay, unfortunately, that's business nowadays, and I understand that. Um, but but here, the mentorship is phenomenal. Keith Siraki, Elizabeth, part of our team, they mentor directly with Warren Woodward, one of the founders. So it's just the awesome process right there. So that's our activity. That's what we do. Okay, and that's what we teach how to do. Third thing, let's see one of these. I'm going to erase this right here. So I'm going to erase this. You guys remember this activity? Five step pattern. I'm just going to go right here. And the last thing we talked about is our results. Didn't get it right in. All right. My English is much better. It's my second language. But, um, so, <laughs> I'm just teasing you guys. It's really my first language. Sometimes it doesn't look like it, though. Uh, so, so the results that we do is this. This is what we're talking about, is we're talking about power player. You guys don't know what this means. Okay, but the coaches and the people that, that, that invited you here know what this means. All right, so basically what it is, it's team approach. So what we're looking for, like I said before, you can draw them as lines, as circles, whatever you want to do. The business was growing before you guys came here, and, it, and it's going to keep growing. What we're doing is we're looking for somebody, maybe you, okay, to plug you into, into the business and into the team with us. Um, and what do we do there? We do that five-step pattern, list, contact, show the plan, follow through, and then rotate or teach. I spelled it, rotate, see, told you, two, three, four, five, okay. This is what we do, so we, we take you as leaders and we say, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take you, show you how to do this thing, and we're going to help you find a. Okay. Meanwhile, the team up here is, is growing this, just like the Facebook analogy. We're growing this with or without you. Okay. It happens. But we help you rotate the pattern, go through here, and find A. Okay. Fantastic. We say, great job. Here you go. You're a rock star right there. Meanwhile, the team's still putting people in there. And we help A find B. Okay. And where you would be? Say, hey, we're going to show you how to make a list, contact, we're going to show the plan for you, we're going to do a follow through with you, and I'm going to help rotate. Okay? We're going to help B find C. And our job is to get 10 levels in depth on this side right here. Okay? We're going to find 10 people that want to be a part of the, part of the team, want to be a part of this, get the good information, apply it to their lives, and just hang out and, and build the business a little bit for us. All right. Once we do that, and we say, "Oh, you've apprenticed here. You know how to do this. We've taught you how to do it. You can start your second team." Okay. And we say you've done ten, 10 on this side, the four of them being on on the system, the business training system, and then the other side is five, with two of them being on the life training system. This is what we call power player. This is what we do over and over again. And what do we do with these people? We get them through the list, they list, contact, show the plan, follow through, rotate. That's it. Okay? That's what we do in this business. We share the idea with people, we help them get started, and we teach them what we do. It's just simple. The nice thing is, is that we're helping people. I mean, that's what I really like about it because, you know, um, if, I can have, if I can share that finance pack with somebody, or the, uh, the financial fitness pack now that we have, it, it's a $100 subscription to somebody that's really in financial, they don't know where the finances are going. So they can get a workbook, hardcover book, CDs, eight CDs in there that help them 
not only get their offensive strategy, okay, and most people do the defensive strategy where they start saving, they cut back on all their expenses. People can do that pretty easy. They set a budget, but it's the offensive strategy they, they kind of lack, or the, the ideas of how to do that. So, so with that finance plan, if I can help somebody do that, that's what, that's what I do this for, okay? So that's it. That's the power player, and that's what we do, is we do that over and over and over again. And that's how it is. So um, I want to thank you guys. You guys have been awesome tonight. But what's going to happen again is you're going to get a book and CDs. Do your due diligence. Take a listen to that. Okay? Read the book. It's going to answer all the questions for you. Don't take it from me. I'm not the magic. The magic is the system that we do. That's all it is. Okay? So take it. You know what? You might find out that it, you may just want to be a customer. Fantastic. Be great. Apply some of that stuff to your life and, and go through it. Um, some of you may say, hey, this sounds great. I want to be a business owner. And we'll get back to you, follow up with you, and let you know how we can get started with you. Okay? Um, so thank you very much. Um, hang out. You guys, there's some more water in here. Uh, thank you very much. If you have to go right now, uh, just drive safe or walk safe. Okay, Kathy? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, and that's it. Thank you very much for your time, guys.